What's up guys, Logan here with Logan Built. So after posting that last video Saturday, I have gotten a ton of calls and texts and messages of you guys wanting to know what this dump valve is, how to get it, why I didn't sell it to you on your last build, just a ton of questions about it. Uh, it's been out since late 2018, I've been offering it in builds, but I believe it's time for a refresher. So we're gonna talk about dump valves, what they are, what they're used for, when to use them and when not to use them. So starting with what the dump valve is. A dump valve is an internal or external valve that dumps converter charge pressure out of the converter. So what this does is the fluid that's inside of your converter is pressurized. That and the stator and turbine design is dictating your stall speed. When you drain that fluid from the converter, you lower the pressure, you lower the amount of fluid in it, and you raise the stall speed. So an internal dump, like what we use in these transmissions, actually drains the fluid from the converter through the input shaft. An external dump is on the cooler circuit outside of the transmission, and it basically bypasses your cooler and the restriction in the transmission to dump directly to the pan from the cooler exhaust side. The External dump valves are used by themselves are not very effective because the pump is already creating more pressure than what the converter can exhaust to begin with. And so the only restriction you're taking out of it is the cooler and the orifices inside the transmission when you're just using an external dump. So an internal dump is where you're gonna get the most effective results. It's gonna drain the converter charge faster than what the pump can charge it and that's what's gonna give you your loose stall speed. Now, in some applications, you can take an internal dump and use an external dump. So once you're already draining that fluid pressure out of the transmission, you can turn on the external dump and give you another little bit more stall speed because you're now effectively getting the fluid out of the converter and you can bypass the cooler and the transmission side of it to give you just a little bit more. We're currently just running an internal dump on these 4748s, but I am going to test an external dump just to see what kind of results we get with it. But generally, that is a dump valve and that is how it works. So now that we know what the dump valve is and what it does, let's talk application. So the application that this would be used in would be only in a non-lockup converter. You cannot use a dump valve like this in a 4748 with a lockup converter. And the reason that that is, is because if you dump off cooler pressure in a 4748, you will start to apply the lockup clutches. So when you're spooling up and you dump that pressure off, your lockup clutches are going to start applying and they're gonna drag during the spool up. Not only is that not going to help you at all, but after two or three times of doing that, you're going to trash your torque converter. So do not hear about these dump valves, go out and buy an external one plumb it into your lockup 4748 and do a spool up. That will end very badly. They're only for the non-lockup converters. The application that you would want a non-lockup converter in to begin with, and then the use of the dump valve, would be an application like a, say a 590 truck, that you're just trying to run 590, you're trying to nail the index every time. You don't want factors any factors you could take out of that is going to be better consistency so there's no need for lockup when you're say 4500 pounds and you only make 1200 horsepower you don't need lockup we have converters that are efficient enough to run in the 90 percent efficiencies with no lockup so take the lockup out of the equation to lose the inconsistency and just run a non-lockup and then we can do a dump valve to help you spool quicker at the line, and you have a really good package at that point for something like that. Uh, an application where a non-lockup isn't ideal would be say a full weight third gen that you're trying to run all out with and you make 2000 horsepower. That is currently not an application where I would sell you any sort of non-lockup. You're gonna want lockup because you're just gonna leave too much power on the table. The, the current converter technology that we have just isn't gonna support 
that much weight and that much horsepower and still keep it in that 90% efficiency range. Uh, and if it does, we're gonna, it's gonna be so tight, you're not gonna be able to spool that thing anyway. So the, the lockup and the non-lockup definitely have their applications. Uh, you can run a non-lockup on the street if it's within those parameters we're talking. Weight is a big factor and the amount of horsepower that you make is a big factor. There, there becomes a point with the non-lockup where you get a diminishing return. Uh, so say for example, JP's truck. When we were running non-lockup in it, uh, you could go 520s all day long at his particular weight and horsepower. That converter would maintain a, a 90 to 92% efficiency. As soon as we started trying to go fours with that same converter, the efficiency would drop down to 78, 79%. And every time we increase power, efficiency would drop off. So you're essentially not gonna go any faster doing that. You're just gonna to continue to blow through your converter more and more, you're gonna get your transmission hot, and it's, it's not gonna help you at all. So there's absolutely a time for lockup, and there's absolutely a time for non-lockup. With my particular truck, 4,500 pounds, 12, 1300 horsepower, trying to be competitive in 590, absolutely I want the non-lockup. I like how I can spool it easy. And I like taking the variable of lockup out of it. Lockup is hard on a chassis. It likes to upset a chassis. Uh, there's ways to tune around that uh, for sure, but it takes a lot more time. It's a lot more finicky to different surfaces. And say if you're gonna run uh, ODSS or a similar circuit, you're gonna run eight, nine races a year all over the country, different times of the year, different surfaces, different temperatures. Uh, I just want to keep it as consistent as you possibly can keep it to try to win a championship. So that's really where you would use a non-lockup versus a lockup. Don't use the dump valve with lockup, dump valve with non-lockup. So hopefully that was pretty good information coverage of why we use the non-lockup, uh, why we use a dump valve, and where not to use a dump valve. So if I sold you a transmission that was a lockup transmission, and you're upset that I didn't tell you about the dump valve, it's because it won't work. Uh, if I sold you a lockup transmission, we talked about it, and that is the best option for what you're doing with your particular application. If you have a non-lockup transmission, and we've talked about it, and I've sold you that, that is what we believe is the best application for you, uh, for your particular truck. So that should pretty well cover everything. If you guys have any more questions about it, feel free to message me. Uh, leave, drop a comment. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, try to share. I'm gonna try to grow this YouTube channel a lot more this year. Uh, it really helps when, when I get some support from you guys. It, it really keeps me motivated to, to make stuff like this. So thanks for watching, catch you next time.